album's called Hammer of the Witches. It never was going to be called Hammer of the Witches. It's just that everybody said, oh, I really like that title. Uh, people got confused with Metal Hammer or Hammer Horror. Um, and obviously, the original Hammer for the Witches was a Malleus Maleficarum, which was a Witchfinder General sort of manual to dig out witches. You know, that was their transcript to, to persecute them by. Um, but this one's more like sort of, you know, vengeful witches on the, on the rampage. Well, there's a nod to that. You can't get away from that, you know, because it's in our blood, really. So um, there's a nod to a lot of different things on it. But it's not a concept album as such, although the, out, the, you know, the artwork and the way it's presented and the, the themes running sort of throughout would, would have a passing nod to, to a normal band. People go, oh, that's a concept record. But it's not as concurrent a theme as, as previous records, like Godspeed or, or, or um, Darkly or... Or um, quarter, yeah, which are like stories in themselves. There's a passing nod to the Cradle of Yore, um, and we haven't sort of panned at this time to to doing anything that's uh, what some people would call, I guess, uh, selling out. You know, it's uh, everything's got that cradle touch to it, and it's it's really eloquent. It's fast, and the, the musicianship on it's it's, it's breathtaking, actually. Uh, you Scott Atkins again at Grindstone Studios, except this time I've done my vocals there, as opposed to last time I did them at Springvale. So it's been more concise album. Uh, I had to go and see my vocal like doctor bloke in London three times for vocal strain. Cause it just, yeah, it's just like, I don't think you get grasp the idea of, you know, that you're actually human. And it's like, take after take after take and after about two weeks of it I literally had to say look Scott I'm fucked pardon my French um, yeah he does he gets the best out of everybody uh, Lindsay was actually going to do her her operatic stuff uh, back in her native on her native soil of uh, Canada but we we coincided her visit obviously for the, the amount of time and the air flight and everything with, with the recording of this video um, because we knew that Scott would get the best out of her. And he knackered her too, he broke her. <laughs> also, Scott's got this thing about everything has got to be perfectly in pitch, you know, so screams have got to be pitched, which just makes everything that much harder. And you've got like doing G sharp and that, which, you know, if you get any higher than that, you're just going to be assailed by loads of mongrel dogs. Um, so I've got about 10 of those to do. And literally, if it comes to the last day before it's got to go to nuclear blast, he did say he would give me a, a running punt in the knackers. <laughs> Just so if I can get that top note. But um, yeah, yeah, it's, it's a little bit more difficult, but I do see this great like, vocal doctor in London who like, grabs you and does all this, like, uh, he usually just deals with like opera singers uh, and he does all this sort of manipulation and that, but that sort of helps. 